Hi, I'm David Ibbert, Fermilab's guest composer for 2020. As you can see, I'm at home under lockdown uh, with the newest member of the family. But like many of my colleagues, um, we have been lucky that we've been able to get, keep making art, keep making music, especially in this digital age. So uh, digging into neutrinos, this mysterious particle, I named the composition Particle of Doubt because neutrinos, they poke a hole in the standard model. Uh, that's our best current understanding of physics. They don't quite fit. Uh, they have mass, uh, but they shouldn't, according to the model. Uh, and this raises all sorts of questions and opportunities to uh, take our physics understanding further. I've been drawn to neutrino oscillation the way that neutrinos can begin life in one flavor and then mysteriously transform into another as they travel. Believe it or not, we've got a pretty good understanding of how that works, but what we don't know is if antimatter neutrinos behave the same way. Uh, and if they don't, that might explain why there is matter in the universe at all, uh, why we're here to ask these questions or even compose music. Uh, this is mind-blowing stuff, and of course, as a composer, I wanted to see what the oscillations would sound like. Uh, of course, they are waves, uh, probability waves, that is, from quantum physics. But in this piece, you can hear them mapped to pitch of the string instruments, uh, three instruments for the three neutrino flavors and their probability over time. Soprano Beth Sterling sings lyrics inspired by Fermilab's Dune experiment a groundbreaking project on an incredible scale, uh, with the goal of answering these questions by firing neutrinos 800 miles underground from Fermilab in Illinois to South Dakota. I'll be following the project as it comes online, and I'll be talking about it in future videos as this piece is finished uh, and other neutrino movements are composed during the residency. That's all for now. See you next time.